class of 2020, list staff, families, and friends. Today, you will experience the thrill and excitement of three events, signing day, the senior award ceremony, and commencement in one amazing event curated just for you. In August 2013, you all came to Bliss bright-eyed, full of hope, and ready to learn. Over the last seven years, you've built lifelong bonds with peers, teachers, staff, and administrators. It wasn't always easy, but through laughter, frustration, and everything in between, you all are now ready to graduate and take your next steps in life. Before you take your next steps, we couldn't let you go without celebrating your accomplishments, your post-bliss plans, and all that you mean to us. But first, a quick recap. 2013 was the beginning of an era when the term selfie and Wednesday is hump day and binge watching became a thing. Orange is the New Black debuted on Netflix and Candy Crush dominated the app world, but none of that compared to you all starting middle school. To the class of 2020, when you were small, adults had big plans for you. A full picture of what your life would be. You've told me that it felt like no one listened or knew who you were. They made judgments and decisions about you and told you what to do. So many times when I've spoken to some of you about meeting expectations, growing up, setting an example, you have countered with, but we are still young, you expect too much. Class of 2020, no class I have known has defied expectations as much as you. John Huston Finley said, maturity is the capacity to endure uncertainty. In these past uncertain weeks, I have been blown away by your maturity. While adults have been worried about what the future will bring, so many of you have calmly adjusted your plans, taken on new responsibilities, and rededicated yourselves to your schoolwork and talents. You have grown up so right under our noses and in circumstances none of us could have planned for or even dreamed for you. In these four years, you have perpetually fought against any force that tries to define you. We've battled over uniforms and cell phones and opinions on what is fair. And then, one day, it was you all sending me tips on self-care during a pandemic and sharing your habits of positive affirmations. Your class is the first I've seen not to need to be hassled about service learning years because you got it done on your own. And often, I find myself saying to other adults, they've just grown up so nicely. This is the thing I will remember most about your class. How you began high school believing that you could not meet expectations, then you ended it meeting them despite the most unexpected challenges. I will also remember your humor and depth of emotion, the 11th grade lunch table where some of you shared announcements so you could cheer for each other and always left late because you would not go to class with incomplete homework. You've reminded me that children grow up so fast, so fast you can almost miss it. Class of 2020, you are a class like none other, and you will be the most unique in our memory for many years to come. We love you, we are proud of you. As you continue to grow up, please don't forget us. We cannot wait to see all that you do to make this world a better place. Class of 2020, from the Bliss Acceptance Breakfast to being accepted into colleges and universities across the country, we would like to reflect on On-Site Admissions Day and welcome you to Signing Day. Class of 2020, I'm so proud of you. Through middle school and high school, there's been so many twists, turns, changes, ups and downs, but there's also been tons of successes and wins and laughter and joy. But some of you, you know who you are, <laughs> did your best to sneak past the college and career success office every chance you got, especially during college application season. But seriously, all of that got you to on-site admissions day. Tajay, take it away. We were all nervous about college admission day. College is telling us on the spot whether we were accepted or not, no matter what GPA you had. But Bliss made sure that every student 
had a college option. And on October 16, 2019, 100% of the class of 2020 got accepted into a college. So now I'd like to introduce our college counselor and let's sign the day begin. But wait, when you hear your name, rep your college. Hey there, Miss Faison from Bennett College here. We would like to officially welcome our Be More Triple Threat, Deja Rogers, Nakia Thompson, and Tajay Hart Alderman to the Bennett College family and the class of 2024. We are so excited to welcome you to campus this fall, ladies. So get ready because Bennett Bells always do it well and your HBCU is now Bennett College. Great day, family and friends. My name is Devontae Pondexter, admissions recruiter and counselor from Benedict College. On the behalf of the Benedict College family, we would like to recognize three amazing scholars from the Baltimore Leadership School for Young Women. Miss Arise Washington, Miss Howard Berry, and Miss Alexis Morton. These three amazing scholars will be joining us in the fall 2020. Congratulations, ladies. You deserve it. We would like to welcome Janan Muhammad to Bulldog Nation class of 2024 at the Bowie State University. Can't wait to see you around campus. And once again, congratulations. Eh, 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 boo On behalf of Capital Technology University, I would like to welcome Therese Harris as the newest member of our mechatronics and robotics program. We look forward to seeing you on campus this fall. The Coppin State family would like to welcome the following bliss young women to the great Coppin State for the fall 2020. Congratulations and welcome, Aaliyah Dennis Gibson, Briasia Cheatham, Alea Easter, Kayla Haley, Ayana Henderson, and Kanisha Woods. Welcome! Woo! Hey everybody, my name is Serena Gant. I'm one of the admissions counselors here at Frostburg State University. I want to start this message off by saying congratulations, ladies, on graduating. Class of 2020, you have accomplished so much, and we are so proud of all of you, so congratulations. I want to send out a special congrats to Tarnay McMahon and Ashanti Graves on attending Frostburg State this fall. We cannot wait to have you ladies on campus. Congratulations on graduating, and ladies, if you need anything while you're on campus, any help, any questions answered, anything like that, please come find me. I am in Pullen Hall, and like I said, congratulations to everybody. Go Class of 2020. On behalf of all the female entrepreneurs around the world, I take great pleasure in welcoming Tamia Anderson to the world of entrepreneurship. We are eager and excited to see all that you will bring to the beauty industry. Hello, my name is Serena Lawrence, a rising senior at The Link University of Pennsylvania. On behalf of The Link University of Pennsylvania, I would like to welcome my bliss sister, Anaya Green, to the Lincoln Lion family. We look forward to seeing you on campus. Good morning, Baltimore Leadership School for Young Women. My name is Zachary Rogers. I'm one of the admissions officers at Morgan State University. I just want to give a warm welcome to our newest Bears, Kayla Wolford, Shoshana Rogers, and Jordan Martin. Welcome to Morgan State University, and we look forward to seeing you in the fall. Come get your orange and blue. Congratulations. On behalf of the University of Baltimore, we'd like to welcome you, Darius Montiel, to the Hive. We can't wait to see you on campus. Bliss class of 2020, congratulations, you ladies made it. On the behalf of the University of Maryland Eastern Shore, I would like to welcome my new Hawks, Elijah Gates, Kumani Goodman, Deja Jones, Angela Lynch, Thais Smith, and Nautical Wilder. We look forward to seeing you ladies here this fall. Hawk Pride, catch it. On behalf of this Pacific State University, we would like to welcome Jalen Washington to the home of the Mighty Vikings. We look forward to having you on our campus, Viking Pride. It is with great honor that we announce Brandy Merrick will be attending the Community College of Baltimore County. Congratulations, Brandy. Congratulations to the 2020 class of Baltimore Leadership School for Young Women. I am delighted to welcome you to Baltimore City Community College and the Mayor Scholars Program. Congratulations to Bliss's 2020 graduates. I'm excited for your next chapter here at Baltimore City Community College and the Mayor Scholars Program. I look forward to meeting each and every one of you. On behalf of Baltimore City Community College, I would like to welcome our newest members of the Mayor Scholars Program. 
Ivion Alexander, Ladesia Allen, Sky Brooks, Briasia Butler, Jakia Crown, Bree Edwards Ross, Kiana Guy, Elizabeth Jones, Tyree Marshall, Destiny Miller, Dejana Moore, Jordan Moore, Tyresha Petty, Janaya Player, Sky Raglan, Tatiana Shepard, Kayla Short, Amani Smith, Araya Waters. And congratulations. On behalf of the admissions team, I would like to welcome you to Baltimore City Community College. Today, we acknowledge the many accomplishments of the class of 2020. You remain focused, determined, and work diligently throughout the year. For that, we are celebrating you today at the Senior Awards Ceremony. Join me in welcoming Jamira Collins, your little sister from the class of 2021, to lead you in the Bliss Pledge. Class of 2020, as you pass the torch to the class of 2021, we would like to say the pledge in honor of our sisterhood. Who are we? We are the Baltimore Leadership School for Young Women. Where are we headed? We are a college-bound community of leaders. Why are we here? We are here to learn, we are here to lead, and we are here to transform Baltimore one young woman at a time. At Bliss, we recognize academic achievement and growth by the awarding of Purple Cords for students with GPAs of 3.5 or higher and departmental awards. Departmental awards are given to students for their grit and achievement in their subject. It is with deep bliss pride that we now bestow these awards to the most deserving students. Purple Cords are given to students who have a 3.5 or above GPA. Those students Barry, Elijah Gates, Kamani Goodman, Therese Harris, Jordan Martin, Darius Montiel, Alexis Morton, Nakia Thompson, Deja Rogers, Shoshana Rogers, and Arise Washington. The department awards are given by each department chair in each content area. The math award is awarded by Ms. Imwald to Anaya Green and Jordan Martin. The science award is awarded by Mr. O'Brien to Tyree Marshall and Jakia Krim. The History Award, awarded by Mr. Miller, is given to Hawa Berry and Shoshana Rogers. The English Award, awarded by Ms. Shipman, is given to Hawa Berry, Shoshana Rogers, Nakia Thompson, and Bree Edwards Ross. Ms. Rollicks is giving the Outstanding Development and Dance Award to Bree Edwards Ross, and the Outstanding Accomplishment in Dance Award to Alea Easter. Mr. Meeks is giving the Outstanding Musician Award to Kamani Goodman, the Most Improved Award in Music to Kayla Haley, and the Dr. Dre Beats Award for Music Production to Shoshana Rogers. Students in the Class of 2020 that are a part of the National Honor Society are Therese Harris, Darius Montiel, Deja Rogers, Shoshana Rogers, Alexis Morton, Kamani Goodman, and Nakia Thompson. The Bliss Service Award recognizes students who have earned 125 service learning hours. These students are given orange cords to wear at graduation. The following students have earned the Bliss Service Award for this year. Hawa Berry, Sky Brooks, Briasia Cheatham, Alea Easter, Anaya Green, Kayla Haley, Therese Harris, Elizabeth Jones, Deja Jones, Angela Lynch, Tyree Marshall, Jordan Martin, Destiny Miller, Darius Montiel, Janan Muhammad, Sky Ragland, Shoshana Rogers, Deja Rogers, Amani Smith, Nakia Thompson, Jalen Washington, Arise Washington, Nautica Wilder, and Kayla Wolfer. The following students have received full scholarship offers from multiple colleges. Howard Berry, 
Elijah Gates, Therese Harris, Jordan Martin, Alexis Morton, Deja Rogers, Nakia Thompson, and Arise Washington. The following students have received tuition and fees scholarships from multiple colleges, Dennis Montiel and Kayla Wilson. Congratulations, ladies. The recipients of the Barbara Shapiro Awards are as follows. Most accumulated service learning hours, Alea Easter, $500. Best high school attendance, 9th through 12th grade, Angela Lynch, $500. Most improved GPA, 9th through 12th grade, Ayana Henderson, $500. Highest GPA attending a community college, Briasia Butler, $500. Highest GPA out of state scholar, Deja Rogers, $500. Congratulations, ladies, on earning the Barbara Shapiro Award. The recipients of the Gerald Richmond Awards are as follows Academic Award, $1,000 to Kamani Goodman, Service Award, $1,000 to Sky Bradman. And the book award $500 to Tawa Fair. The 2020 recipient of the Lady Candace Pierce Award in the amount of $500 is Shoshana Rogers. The recipients for the Key Tech Bliss Engineering Scholarships are as follows Deja Rogers, Tawa Berry, and Arise Washington. Congratulations, y'all. Each of you has won a $2,000 scholarship. Congratulations! The class of 2020 voted for a senior with the most bliss spirit. This senior embraces the bliss mission, beams with bliss pride, and embodies the spirit of the class of 2020. The recipient of the Bliss Spirit Award is... Jordan Martin! Now, I will be sharing the superlatives voted on by the class of 2020. Most likely to become a business owner, Tamia Anderson. Most outspoken, Shoshana Rogers. Most likely to become a politician, Shoshana Rogers. Most likely to make you laugh, Kanisha Woods. Most likely to be on a reality most likely to travel the world, Alea Easton. Most athletic, Jalen Washington. Hey y'all, so excited for you guys. Congratulations, you're finally graduating. Um, we are so excited for you guys and we just hate that we don't have the opportunity to celebrate with you in person. Um, I know that you guys are missing some of those bliss senior things um kind of like the senior last walk but know that you are on our minds we are thinking about you we love you and we have just tried to figure out how we can give you every piece of your senior experience so join us as we take your senior last walk congratulations today is your day you're off to great places you're off and away you have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself. Any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know. And you are the guy who will decide where to go. Oh, the places you'll go. You'll be on your way up. You'll be seeing great sights. You'll join the high flyers. Who soar to high heights. You won't lag behind because you'll have the speed. You'll pass the whole gang and soon take the lead. And wherever you fly, you will be the best of the best. Wherever you go, you will top all the rest. You'll get mixed up, of course, as you already know. You'll get mixed up with many strange birds as you go. So be sure when you step. Step with care and great tact.
It is my honor to welcome you to the Baltimore Leadership School for Young Women commencement exercises for the class of 2020. I am pleased to acknowledge our board of trustees, district representatives, our amazing Bliss staff, and the families of the Bliss class of 2020. Since 2013, you have trusted our school with your most valuable investment. We thank you for allowing us to be a part of the village that raised a community of strong women leaders. We acknowledge that there have been many twists and turns on this seven year journey. And we also acknowledge that this co-parenting relationship hasn't always been easy, but it does not end here. Remember, we are a helicopter school. To the class of 2020, we acknowledge you. We also acknowledge that this is a complicated celebration. It's complicated because we are celebrating you as our country is crying out for change. We're celebrating you while also being on the precipice of deconstructing all that is familiar and finally acknowledging our country's historic little fires everywhere. Fires of racial, educational, gender, economic and social inequalities that were never supposed to internally combust, but they have. So this is complicated. You met the requirements for graduation, but we acknowledge that we are sending you into a world that was not set up for black and brown women to meet the requirements. We were always called to exceed them. So this is complicated. We acknowledge that for the past seven years, we have kept you in our bliss bubble where there were puppies and plaid pleated skirts, but we now know that we're sending you to an, into a country that only expects for you to follow trends but remember, you were called to be transformational. This is complicated because we know that during this time, we wondered how would we create an experience for you that would magnify who you are as young women. But consider this, what if this is exactly the celebration that you needed? In the words of Leslie Dwight, what if this complicated senior year and celebration was intended to force you to grow beyond where you are right now. A senior year that makes you scream so loud that it wakes all of us up from our slumber. A senior year that forces us to finally accept the change that is needed, to work for the change that is needed, to become the change that is needed. Could you be the ones and could this be the year to force us to acknowledge how it's time for us to all work together? So while we acknowledge all of the complexities and complication, we also acknowledge and celebrate your future. So now it is with great privilege and honor that I introduce our school's founder, Brenda Brown Weaver. Congratulations, you did it. We are so proud of you and we could not allow these years to go by uncelebrated. I imagine that when you began this journey to graduation, you did not imagine this day to be virtual. We are all disappointed not to be shaking your hands and giving you hugs. I know this has been a rough and difficult year, but I am told that this has made your class closer than it ever was before. I have heard your class described as unbreakable. And that is very good. You deserve so much more, as do your families. I love graduation each year and I look forward to seeing all of you girls. But as a mother and a grandmother, I also love seeing your families and knowing the pride that they feel watching you. I wish we were all there together so that I could see it in your eyes and in their eyes and mostly feel it in my heart. When I founded the school, it literally changed my life. I've enjoyed watching you girls become young women and following your many pursuits. It's opened my eyes to the world through your eyes, sometimes exuberant and joyful and sometimes not. I knew that the world needed a better place and it was my way to help the city that I was born in, grew up in and loved. It has always been a passion of mine to help women become who they want to be. I have to have self-esteem and to be proud of who they are. The world we live in needs to change and to be better for all 
the people. Your new paths are exciting and challenging and will take you take will take concentration and care. But I believe in all of you. You came here as 10 and 11 year olds and opted into a lottery program in a school you knew little or nothing about because you or your parents or your guardians felt it was an opportunity to have a better experience in a school. You took a chance on what was a school of hopes and dreams, a community of imaginings of what could exist. Today, we thank you and your families for making that important decision, taking that risk and sticking with us. It is my hope that you have learned a lot for I have learned so very much and could never have learned all of it without knowing all of you. We have learned about life from each other. I have learned that every young woman has a story and I have learned that every life, in every life there are good things and there are also obstacles to overcome. It is important as women to use our own story, our own slice of life to empower us. I believe that you young women are capable of anything you put your minds and hearts to. Some of you have struggled to get here today and that makes it all the more meaningful because you made it. All of you worked hard for a goal and you have achieved it. And we at the Baltimore Leadership School for Young Women are so very proud of you. And I hope that you remember when life offers you a chance to make a difference for better in your own life or community or city or world that you take the risk and that you do it. Taking a risk is what brought me to you and you to me. And taking that risk will help you achieve Bliss's goal and vision. I'm so happy to say that once again, we have achieved our mission to graduate our girls and have them all accepted to accredited colleges and universities. I'm so proud to report that Bliss has done it again. Mission accomplished. We are changing Baltimore one young woman at a time. I want to leave you with a few words that were said by Andy Rooney, who was a commentator on 60 Minutes. He talked about living and learning. And he said, I have learned that the best classroom in the world is at the foot of an elderly person. I have learned that one person saying, you made my day, makes my day. And I can also, I've also learned that I can always pray for someone when I can't help in any other way. I've also learned that to ignore the facts does not at all change the facts. And I've learned that the easiest way for me to grow as a person is to always surround myself with people that are smarter than me. I've learned that life is tough, but you can be tougher. And lastly, I have learned that it's important to remember that sometimes all a person needs is a hand to hold and a heart that understands. I feel your hearts today, and I'm so happy for all of you and your families. And on this day, I say from the bottom of my heart, congratulations to each and every one of you. Bravo. Good morning. My name is Linda Jones, and it's my privilege on behalf of the entire Board of Trustees for the Baltimore Leadership School for Young Women to welcome all of you to the graduation ceremony for the class of 2020. Graduates, we couldn't be more proud of you. Of course, we're sad that we can't all be together to celebrate you, our amazing group of young graduates. But even in this setting, our pride in what you've accomplished and our excitement about what lies ahead for each of you shines through. To all of our Bliss families, I want to congratulate you as well. This is a wonderful and well-deserved day for all of you. You started this Bliss journey when you decided to enter your fifth grade girls into the lottery to attend Bliss. And since then, over seven years, you've supported, helped, protected, and defended your young women. Today, we all share in your happiness and pride, and we thank you for your faith in us. I also wanna thank the team of people who are so very responsible for the success of our young women. Our teachers, our principals, our administration, 
and our full staff. They're dedicated and thoughtful. It's hard work. Being there every day, guiding and teaching our young women requires patience, commitment, creativity, and kindness. We really can't thank you enough. I also like to say just a few words about our Board of Trustees, a diverse group of 25 community leaders who are passionately devoted to bliss. The board often works in the background, but you can be assured that every board member uses their talent, their resources, and their networks to make sure the school, our students, and our staff have what they need to fulfill the bliss promise, preparing our students to succeed in college and in life. And now I have just a few words for our graduating class of 2020. During your seven years at Bliss, you've learned many things. You've learned that you're capable of doing achieve, and achieving much more than you might think. You've learned that through your own hard work, you can overcome many obstacles, and that this hard work empowers you to do even more. We know these past few months have been particularly challenging. This isn't how you had planned or hoped to finish your high school career. Please know that we're so proud of how resilient and courageous you've been during this tough time. You've also learned that being part of a supportive sisterhood makes you stronger. You found that kind of community at Bliss, and we know you will find many more like it in your own futures. You've learned that you can take risks and that some things are worth taking a risk for. You've learned that you're accountable for your own decisions and that there are consequences, good and yes, sometimes bad, for your choices. And most important, you've learned that when you work hard for a goal, you can achieve it. For many years, graduation has been your goal and now you've achieved that goal. Now you are graduates and tomorrow is the first day of your future. Every single one of you is leaving bliss with a success plan for the next steps in your life. These recent months have highlighted for all of us more vividly than ever, how many challenges we're facing in our community and in our world. So when life offers you a chance to make a difference for the better in your own lives, in your family's lives, or in the life of your community, step up and take that chance. We are counting on you. Class of 2020, congratulations. In order to receive the Bliss Diploma, a student must pass every class from grade nine through grade 12, which means the successful completion of 24 course credits, including additional laboratory science and foreign language, work study, or advanced placement courses while also completing a minimum of 125 hours of service learning hours in their community. In addition, students must successfully complete their capstone research project in which they address a societal issue that impacts their community. This year, 25% of students achieved this despite the most challenging circumstances in their senior year. In addition, Students completing a minimum 125 service learning hours are acknowledged through the orange academic cord and students earning a 3.5 grade point average or higher are acknowledged through the purple academic cord. Congratulations, ladies. Good morning, class of 2020, blessed staff and families. It's been a crazy four years of high school. There have been many squabbles, misunderstandings and miscommunications However, there have also been times of vulnerability, happiness, and pride. I'm honored to have sat in classes with you, laugh, joke, and enjoy all the experiences we shared at Bliss. Throughout our high school career, we have all been connected in some way, shape, or form. Whether it was through a project, a summer trip that Dofa had us going, or just by being in classes or programs together. And those connections have built lifelong bonds and relationships. We have all blossomed into strong, independent women that have strong mindsets and unique personalities that are going to take us far in this world. At the Bonneville Leadership School for Young Women, the class of 2020 has always aspired to be different and we aim to set the bar and standard for success. At some points, we were considered the underdogs and sometimes felt overlooked, yet we rose and will continue to rise over all of our obstacles. Our accomplishments, 
commitment and hard work have outshined all the flaws. So today, let's celebrate and praise our activists, our business owners, our leaders, our caretakers, our future doctors, our future scientists, and even future presidents that will come from the class of 2020. Even though this is our special day, not in the way we want it, we also have to say thank you to the guardians and families that surround us. As a promise, I have to say thank you to Mr. Sip, the kindling fire of activism, free thinking, and social change. You have informed us about the ins and outs of the justice systems, and we will never forget you. Thank you, Ms. Shipman, for being hard on us, pushing our writing abilities to the full max, and teaching us valuable life lessons, besides what was in Adela and the Grapes of Wrath. Thank you, Ms. Dolphat, for being there with us for a long seven years. You have seen us develop, have given us many opportunities, and has set us on a path to success. Thank you, Ms. Bond, for being so kind to all of us and for printing out our assignments that we usually do that same day. <laughs> Mom, as I sit next to you, looking at the screen with my cap and got on, I want to say thank you. We did it. But most importantly, I have to thank God for keeping me through my journey. There were moments where situations could have taken a toll on my life. He has given me the amount of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding through prayer and trust. And I know for everyone, we had moments of tears, depression, anger, and confusion. But God turned it around and gave us time of rejoicing, relief, and freedom, just like this moment today. I can't deny God and say that it was all of our work because it wasn't. This is just the witnessing of God's grace. My fellow sisters, as I close this speech, never give up, never be okay with a no, always stand your ground, but most importantly, never lose connection with your peers. It is time to turn over on a new leaf, time to restart, refresh, but never forget your history because it guides your path. I can't wait to see how everyone's life will be after graduation, whether that be through college or a non-traditional route. I wish all of you the best. Thank you, Deja. At this time, I would like to introduce our keynote speaker, actress and Baltimore native, Brescia Webb. Ms. Webb graduated from the Baltimore School for the Arts and received her Bachelor's of Fine Arts in Acting from the California School of the Arts. Ms. Webb started acting at the age of nine and has appeared in numerous movies and television shows. And today, she brings her talent back to Baltimore to share a few words of wisdom with the class of 2020. Just doing what I do best, outshining Teddy's butt. The Breakfast Club, we have a special guest in the building. Bright and early. Brisha <laughs> Webb, welcome. Thank you for having me. Hi, guys. Hey. What's up, Bree? I'm surprised you're here because y'all had the premiere of uh, <sighs> Fall from Grace last night, right? And congratulations to the beautiful graduating class of 2020 for the Baltimore Leadership School for Young Women! Hello! Congratulations, guys. Thank We're going to talk about laying down the tiles for a good foundation. Um, it starts off with a T, and that's going to talk about time. How you spend your time is so important and who you spend your time with at this point in your life is so important. Jazz musicians, he said, time isn't the main thing, it's the only thing. So yes, use your time wisely. Know who you have a part of your life right now who is wasting your time, okay? Okay, so tiles, T for time. I is for setting your intention. You have to set an intention. I set an intention for my day, for this <laughs> speech. I want you guys to prosper and I'm gonna put all of my all into this so that you can feel my energy and so you know that my intention is for you guys to only be great. So set an intention for everything that you do. You're going to college, you're, you're going to different offices, you're building your career. Set an intention. Set an intention for everything that you do. I know for me, when I 
you know, was graduating from college, I had all of these ideas about how my career was going to go and what was going to be, la, 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 and how it was going to pan out and how I was going to be famous. You can't control that. But what you can control, you do. And my intention, I can control. So after T-I comes L, legacy. How are you going to build your legacy? How are you going to make your family proud? Make your ancestors proud. How are you gonna build your legacy? Now, one thing we can do by building our legacy and setting intentions and with our time is voting in November, okay? That's first and foremost. So do things that will honor the people that have come before us, which is voting, going to school, being, and being educating yourself, just being great at everything you do. You know, buying property, seeing what we can do in our communities to make them better. All of those things are so important to our legacy. And thinking about how we are going to build our legacy for our family and for our families to come. So think about your legacy. I mean, Harriet Tubman did not put all our ancestors and bring all these people to freedom for us to be twerking on live. Okay, life. You have to think about how things are gonna prepare you for the future and how that's gonna hurt you in your future. So think about your legacy and what that will mean. Every step that you take, how is this gonna make my name great? How is this gonna build my legacy? And after L comes E, and that is for excellence. Be excellent in everything you do because you are excellent. Move in your black excellence. Be excellent in every way that you show up in a room. Inspire other people to be excellent. Don't be afraid of your excellence. Just be. And you showing up and setting your intentions and honoring the people that have laid in a foundation for you and your legacy and spending your time wisely, you have no reason but to be excellent. So be excellent. Remember your excellence. When people diminish you and make you feel less than, remember that you are excellent and trust your excellence to lead you into every room that you go through. And for S is self-care. We have to take care of ourselves, young ladies. We have to make sure that we are in tune with who we are and do our best to keep ourselves intact. Self-care, I practice self-care every day. I do something for myself every day, okay? So please, self-care. And when you self-care, you can take care of everyone else and you can make sure that all of your tile are laid down. So you have your time, you set your intentions, you build your legacy, and you're excellent. And you self-care. So please, Take these tiles of foundation with you while you go be great and you go set a beautiful life for yourself because you're already doing it, guys. As principal of the Baltimore Leadership School for Young Women, I certify that these students have met the graduation requirements of both Baltimore City Public Schools and the Maryland State Department of Education. I take pleasure in recommending to you the graduating class of 2020. Acknowledging the certification and the recommendation by the principal and by the authority vested in me as Chief Achievement and Accountability Officer, I take pleasure in presenting to you the graduating class of 2020 for the conferring of diplomas. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor of presenting to you Johnette Richardson, Baltimore City School Board Commissioner. I'd like to share a message to the class of 2020. I am so extremely proud of each and every one of you. This school year brought twists and turns and all kinds of changes, yet you persevered. You made it through. With that level of tenacity, I am confident that you will meet every challenge in life and overcome. Remember who you are. Remember that your life matters. Remember that you can do anything you put your heart and minds to. And as you move to the next stage in life, we will be here 
cheering you on every step of the way. Now for the moment you've been waiting for, in recognition of the certification of these graduates, the recommendation of the principal, and the acknowledgement of the chief of staff, and by virtue of the authority vested in me as commissioner of the Baltimore City School Board, I take great pleasure in accepting the graduating class of 2020 for the conferring of high school diplomas. Avion Alexander. Ladeja Allen. Tamia Anderson. Hawa Berry. Sky Brooks. Briasia Butler. Briasia Cheatham. Jakia Krim. Alea Dennis Gibson. Alea Easter. Bree Edwards Ross. Elijah Gates. Kumeni Goodman. Ashanti Graves. Anaya Green. Kiana Guy. Kayla Haley. Therese Harris. Tajay Hart Alderman. Ayana Henderson. Deja Jones. Elizabeth Jones. Angela Lynch. Tyre Marshall. Jordan Martin. Tarnay McNair. Brandy Merrick. Destiny Miller. Darius Montiel. Dejana Moore. Jordan Moore. Alexis Morton. Janan Muhammad. Tyresha Petty. Janaea Player. Sky Ragland. Deja Rogers. Shoshana Rogers. Tatiana Shepard. Kayla Short. Amani Smith. Thais Smith. Nakaya Thompson. Arise Washington. Jalen Washington. Araya Waters. Nautica Wilder. Kanisha Woods. Kayla Wolford. Congratulations are in order to the 2020 class of the Baltimore Leadership School for Young Women. It is my pleasure, Tama Solomon, as a graduate of not only the founding class of Bliss, but also as a 2020 graduate from my university. I have recently received my Bachelor's of Science in Community and Regional Planning from Alabama A&M University. 
Four years ago, I was in your shoes, paving the way, transforming Baltimore one young woman at a time. And I'm so happy to invite you to the Bliss Alumni family. I can't wait to see all that you do in Baltimore, in the U.S., and all over the world. Congratulations. You did it. Now continue to transform Baltimore one young woman at a time. Thank you, Taylor, for representing Bliss Alumni. Class of 2020, your, bis your Bliss family wanted the world to know how special you are to us. To commemorate your graduation, we dedicate this billboard to you. I will now introduce our salutatorian, Arise Washington, for the turning of the tassel. tassel and your high school ring are both symbols of success. Some believe that you place the tassel on the right side of your cap is because you have earned the right to graduate. Moving the tassel as well as turning your rings is symbolic of crossing over from high school to the next stage of your life. Therefore, classmates, please take the tassel in your right hand and on a count of three, join me in turning our tassels to the left side of our caps. One, two, three. <laughs> Now, please remove your class rings and on the count of three, please turn your class ring. One, two, three. Congratulations, class of 2020! Woo! Congratulations and best wishes to the class of 2020. I want to thank our salutatorian, Arise Washington, and our valedictorian, Deja Rogers, for their speeches today. When we can all be together again, please come back and get the hugs that we so, so want to give you and that you deserve. Now, graduates, go transform Baltimore and go transform the world. One young woman at a time. Now, wait a minute, class of 2020. I know you did not think we were going to end like that. There may be a global pandemic going on, but it won't stop our party. Please join us as we celebrate for an additional 30 minutes on your live Zoom party with DJ No ID. Congratulations, class of 2020. You did it.